Okay, so today we have Sandy, and she's been having uh, left knee pain for about six or seven months now. <clears throat> and um, she's tried several different things. She's been to the orthopedic surgeon, and they're recommending a Synvisc injection into the knee. And she would like to try something a little bit more natural for her knee pain. And um, so Sandy, just standing right there, score your your knee pain on a zero to ten scale. Zero is no pain, ten is just extreme pain. Probably about a seven. About a seven out of ten. Okay, now we want to see how it functions also, so let's let's do a squat. So I'm gonna ask you to put your feet about wide as your hips. Uh-huh. Put your arms out in front for balance. Good. And then go ahead and squat down just as far as you can. That's about it right there. Yeah. Okay, now come back up. Now, does that increase the knee pain? Yes. What does it go up to from a seven to a... About a nine. Up to a nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to see if we can influence that pain and be able to get you to squat down a lot easier right after this treatment. All right, so we just finished up Sandy's first therapy session. And a while ago, just standing right there, Sandy, your pain was a seven out of ten. Can you score what the knee pain is right now, right immediately after the treatment? Maybe a three or a four. There you go. That's pretty good. That's improvement. Mm -hmm. Now let's check the function again. And we're going to put the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Arms out in front for your balance. And go ahead and squat down. Come back up. Do it again. Is that better? It's better. It still grinds, but it doesn't hurt as bad. Okay. A while ago, the pain went up to what? Eight, you said? Eight, uh-huh. What is it now when you squat? Probably a four. Probably okay. a four. That's very good. That's mm -hmm. good improvement. About a 50% improvement.